Warning, this video may contain bad words. In fact, it probably contains a fuckload. Hey, hello, happy Monday. Welcome to this live stream. Welcome to Completed It, mate. I'm James Buckley. Thanks for being here. Thank you to everyone who's watching this right now, live as it happens. If you are watching this on repeat, as always, give us a thumbs up and uh, comment. I read them all and I reply to most of them. Um, how is everyone doing? How's everyone in the comments? Uh, as always, it's the comments that are going to decide where this video goes, what what this video is going to be about. I'm going to basically be playing a video game at the same time, but um, I'm mostly going to be paying attention to what's going on here next to me. Um, how is everybody? Have you had a good morning? I'm fresh from the orthodontist. Um, I think I mentioned it last week. I'm going to be getting a brace soon to sort out my Austin Powers teeth. Um, so yeah, that's it, I think. That's pretty much it. I'm going to be playing GTA Online. I've been playing it loads uh, recently. This alarm's going to go off again. Not that you needed to know that. I could have done that without telling you. Um, yeah, I've been playing it a lot. I've been doing, uh, for the first time ever, I've d I have completed the first heist over the weekend online because of the complete mates um, crew. Go away, Lester. Because of the complete mates crew, I've now got a thousand people that want to play with me online and that can find me and, and join in on my games and stuff so if you are in the complete mates crew as well and you're watching this right now <coughs> and you want to jump on the xbox and uh, help me fill up my warehouse i'm still on a mission to fill up my warehouse and then um sell everything this is where i'm at now i've got <coughs> an associate with me at the moment who i've hired um they're in the crew it is uh jdm Subaru, and uh, this person's been helping me actually. Was playing with me over the weekend, and was helping me with my uh, with my heist stuff. And is a very useful player. And if you're watching this, you got to message me your social club name because I'm I'm I uh, I promote people within the within the crew who um who help me out. But um, what's going on? I hope you're okay. I hope you and the family are okay, James. I'm good, thank you, Joey. And my family are all good. GTA Five has had its day. Yeah, that's fine. Lots of games have had their day, but I don't. Um, as you know, on this channel, I don't play things that are current or that uh, you want me to play. <laughs> I play things that I like to play, and. Um, just make a I just happened to make a video of it um Ryan Cunningham says hope you're having a good day so far yeah my day has been good um as I was mentioned I've been to the orthodontist and uh I'm getting uh I'm getting a train track brace yeah think about that but I'm getting it on the inside of my teeth, so you shouldn't be able to see it. Um, it's something I've been wanting to do for years, and uh, I've not been able to because I've been on uh, film sets like all the time. And uh, this has been a nice little break to uh, to be able to take ad uh, take advantage of this break and, and get my teeth finally sorted out. Andrew Graver says, James, ever thought about Champs Manager video? I love Championship Manager. Well, I love Football Manager, obviously. Um, but I think that would be really boring. It's not visually exciting uh, to watch. And it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a solo game and... You know, it's not really... Uh, it's not really something I'd play that I think would be entertaining for others it's something that I like to play uh, privately uh, <laughs> Chewy Pork Pie says what's Benji up to now? brackets in between his dog wasn't the dog put down or something? 
Didn't they get the dog put down in the end? <laughs> uh, so Stams a lot says, do you still stay in contact with Simon Blake and Joe? Yeah, of course I do. We were talking, uh, we were texting each other yesterday. Morgan Kirby says, please can you say, Morgan Kirby friends. The friends thing. We didn't say friends, did we? We said friend. Oh, friend. It wasn't friend. Uh, Kip Hakes, good to hear from you again. Morning, James. Loving the classes. Bit blooming cold out, isn't it? I need to walk my dog, but putting it off and watching this instead. Yeah, it's well cold. Um, I'm not into the cold. I like sun and being warm and comfortable. Being cold's a load of old rubbish. I'm not really into it. Um, I've got space for uh, another two associates. So if you do want to... Um, if you do want to jump on your Xbox and um, look, I did. This is why having the Xbox, uh, having the complete mates uh, <laughs> crew, is so handy. Because <laughs> I don't even have to do anything anymore. Uh, Vadger, I've ranked up to Vadger. I have this vague recollection. I I started the complete mates crew uh, back in 2017, I think, and I think I the ranks I had them all sort of in-betweeners themed. <laughs> so there are things like Vadger, even though I didn't say it in the in-betweeners, it says Vag, doesn't it? But, you know. <laughs> you know. I'm 31 years old. Um, Rowan, how you doing, mate? Hope you're well and do more Black Ops 4 videos. Huge fan. What do you prefer? Let me do a little... Um, let me throw it out to you right now. What do you prefer, Black Ops 4 or Black Ops 3 videos? And you can't say neither. <laughs> That's not an option. Uh, obviously, I prefer playing... Um, I prefer playing Black Ops 3. Hey, uh, I know we've got that up. Um, but... I, I'm not dead against Black Ops 4. Oh, this is horrible. Everyone's saying Black Ops 4. But what do you prefer me playing, though? Because I'm terrible at Black Ops 4, and I'm slightly better at Black Ops 3. Like, it's 4. 4's a landslide. There's a couple of 3's. But 4 is an is just absolutely destroyed it. We've got any more CIMs in the... Uh, Holland. Holland. Holland's. Holland's. You're getting a... Uh, you're getting a little request here. Uh, where are you? Oh! What's happened? Where's Holland's gone? I've lost it. I've, oh, there it is. Holland's, you're... You're getting a request. If a repeat customer is any indicator, you might... Oh, why? God, people bugging you all the time. So we've got Highlands. I've got room for one more. Hey, James, watching from Australia. Can you call my friends Max and Mitch bus wankers? We've got an X there, but Max and Mitch, you are bus wankers. Congratulations. Well done. Uh, Smokey, who is that? Smokey something or another. Is that S Smokey Meat? Smokey Meat. I've pressed the wrong button, didn't I? Smoky meat. I'll say smoky meat again, shall I? Uh, player, smoky meat. Smoky meat. Do I keep uh, the. What's going on here? Why does it keep moving everything? Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hire. Uh, Secure service is currently unavailable right now. <coughs> Why? Why is it currently unavailable? Hire Associates crew. Right, let's get one more in, and then we can, uh, we can, we can, we can, uh, smoke mate. Good on you. I was trying to get you at the beginning. Right, let's get some more, um, more packages, more, more cargo. Can you turn the game audio up, please? Are you sure about that? See, I'm worried that as soon as... Because it's a quiet game. I've not got any... Um, 
Yeah, I want to access the computer. I've not got any uh, music playing or anything like that. And as soon as as soon as I get in a car and someone starts shooting, I think it's going to be um, audio properties. I think it's going to be a problem. Right, there we go. I've turned it up a bit more. But where are we now? 43% of the uh, of the warehouse is, is full. Um, apart from British people, what's your next biggest fan base? Well, if YouTube is an indicator of that, because I can look up um, where the demographics come from, it is... Um, it is... Oh dear. Work. It is um, Australia and then America. But it's like 95% UK, 3% Australia, 1% America, and then 1% loads of other places. Josh Dignam says, Can you tell my cousin Robert he is a bus wanker? Well, it's so many bus wankers. Isn't there? Um, do your Australian accent again. <laughs> no. No, because I like Australian people and I don't, <laughs> don't want to piss them off. Yo, Pez. Division 2, question mark? Don't know much about it. Jake's a bus wanker as well, apparently. From Team CB. Joel, you can join my game. I don't know how you can join my game, but people do. People manage to find me. I've been playing this a lot over the weekend and stuff, and um, and just people find me. I, I don't know how to find them. Um, Rowan Wilson says, just wondered if you've ever been to Cornwall. Yeah, of course I've. Been to loads of places. I don't think there's many places I've not been in the UK. I think I've... I've got about. Hello, Jake. Globox. Uh, Andrew Graver. Lynn. <laughs> right. Shall I do it in an Alan Partridge voice? Lynn. I've pierced my foot on a spike. There you go. You're just quoting things of casualty now. That's my favourite bit of that. <laughs> um. So what am I doing here? Am I even doing any work? Now that I've got a full... Full bu full bunch of people, full crew here. Look, there's a lot of people here. Also, like... <laughs> since I've been playing this a lot on the live streams recently and I've been active on it. Um, oh, is it? I've updated... I've updated to the thing on your phone. Right, so we need to find the old... Um... Yes. Yes, Nikki Scales, what you're doing will um, ruin a video that, I, that I'm trying to put out. Now, I'm more than happy to, like... I love people joining and I love, um, you know... Getting people to be featured on a YouTube video it might be fun. They might get a kick out of it and be all like, "Oh yeah, I was in that video with Buckley." But you're uh, you'll ruin it for everyone, and I'll have to like just yeah yeah I I I'll have to stop. Yeah. I don't know what to do about that. Um, James, can I join your crew on PS4? No, you can't. Uh, it's... So I've got a bit of a problem with this at the moment because... Because it's... Uh, it's full, right? And... I, and um, Jeff... Uh, from Achievement Hunter... Um, did... Um, 
get in touch with his contact for me at, uh, at Rockstar to see if I could get it, get the cap taken off, right? And, uh... It... Oh, uh, oh. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find another game, because this King Broza guy, and I don't, I shouldn't talk about this, and I shouldn't even acknowledge the guy, uh... But he's a freak, and he needs to leave me the fuck alone. All right, mate. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, all right. So let's find another session, shall we? Shall we? Um, I know you shouldn't. Um, I, I, I replied to a couple of his tweets and it was the biggest mistake I've ever made. <laughs> what was I talking about before that? Oh yeah, the, the crew thing. So they've said they can't uh, get rid of the cap. All right, the, it's, it's a thousand and that's it. Uh, also, managing the crew is really, really difficult. It's really hard to sort of... Um, because people's social club names are different to their names that they've got online. So it's um, it's it is really really difficult uh, to to promote and to sort of and to be more active and to to you know reward people for helping me out like helping me play the game. Frank Griffin says, "What has happened to Simon's car that was used in the Inbetweeners? Uh, it was sold to um, for charity. It raised like a load of money for charity." Um, what I would like to do as well, so I'd like to be able to manage the crew easier and also I'd like to be able to sort of, if you're inactive in the crew for three months or for six months or something like that, that you automatically come out of the crew so that new people can join in because the crew's really old and the last time I spoke about it was about two years ago and a load of people joined then and I don't think that they really play the game much anymore. So it's like, um, it's sort of like, I'd like to sort of let, get fresh people in that are, that are playing the game now and that are active and sort of rotate it a bit more. Uh, and these things would be just handy to be able to do and, and, and you can't, basically. Um, the crew name is Complete Mates. Um, but as I say, it is full. Um, but I think it's full of like, ba oh, for fuck's sake, I forgot it blew up my car. It's basically full of people that maybe aren't active as much, and uh, I'd like to change that up. But how do I? I don't know, and also I can't find a way of being able to block a certain person from finding me and following me around in this game and basically ruining the game for me. Like, I'm well done. You know, I just will stop playing it and I'll stop. And that means that all the cool people that I get to play with that might enjoy, you know, helping me out and stuff and being on on the on the YouTube channel, um, they get... They miss out, basically. Um... So Stam's a lot's back. So what was the first game game you played, Jamesy boy? So I got a few. There's a so when I was a kid, my first console that I had was a, an Atari, and I can't remember exactly what my first game was, but it would have been. But I do remember playing Smurfs. Uh, <laughs> that was um. On the Atari, yeah, that was, that's one of my earliest memories. I'm not a hundred percent sure whether that is. <sighs> oh, that's a shame, because it's not. I've not had this problem while I've been doing the live streams for this. Um, but I guess 
It is back. I'm thinking that I might do... Uh, this might be a huge mistake. JDM Su Subaru, you need to message me on Xbox. You need to tell me your rock st uh, your Rockstar social account name because I want to promote you because uh, you're someone that is good at the game and is really helpful and helps me out a lot. Um, where do I want to head to? I want to head to my house. Okay. Alright, we've got a full little crew there going on. Sorry, I'm neglecting this. Yeah, so I think it I think it was I think it was uh The Smurfs on the Atari. Uh Red Devils Gaming says you can set up a session just for your crew only. Oh man, I don't know how to do that. I'll look I'll try and look this up. Big Marv says, Loving the live streams, mate. Hope you're well. Thanks, man. I'm loving doing them. I've sort of become a little bit uh, addicted to doing these live streams. I love doing them so much because of uh, because of the love and the support. So it's like I don't know. I just I just really it it just really builds me up. It just really, it makes me feel good. Like I I just I just have a load of people that want to have a chat and a nice and a call and um, yeah, I really enjoy it. Voots. Watching Gig and the Girlfriend now. <laughs> Love the vids. Yeah, that's a good episode, that one, I think. That is a good that is a good episode. Uh I'm just gonna change this quickly just in case um Eclipse Towers. Right. Uh so Also it's been really weird like playing this game and people finding you and knowing who I am and stuff and uh they take like selfies with me in the game and things like that. Um Will Simon or Neil, which character is your favourite? I think it's Neil. Uh especially in the second movie, I think I think uh which was annoying. Uh Blake had all the funniest lines, I think, and all the funniest stuff. And also Blake did it really funny, which was irritating. I want to be the funniest. Uh, let's have a look. Who's buzzing, shall we? Let's buzz in nearby friends and crew, shall we? But I'm going to do a heist now. And that might be a mistake. Um, also, I know for a fact that... Uh, that guy who I said needs to leave me alone. This will be in a video on his YouTube channel. Which we're in the process of having taken down, mate. So Don't spoil it for everyone. Uh, Blake Harrison is the better actor out of the four. No offence, mate. Um, yeah, no, I do take offence to that. I don't know, I'm not supposed to take offence to that. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus, a heist. <laughs> yes, a heist. Right, let's start a heist as a leader. The Human Labs Raid. So I managed to do the first one over the weekend for the first time ever. And I've tried three or four times to do it. Um, but you get, you know, I don't have friends that play this game. So it's difficult to have people that aren't just going to drop out and aren't just going to, you know, disappear in the middle of the game. Um, let's do... Uh, my crew members. Invite crew members. This is weird. Um, Mike Jones says, your car didn't have a CIM emblem yesterday. Why? Uh, no, I think it did. I'm sure it did. Unless I was driving my little green sports car. I, I, I know I've also got a Mini that sometimes I drive that doesn't have the emblem on. Um... Jake Globox is back. He says, I think you're the best actor out of the four. Thank you. More like it. 
You can stay. I'm only joking before, by the way. Blake's a... Oh, shit. Blake's a, a, a great actor. <sighs> Fucking Blake. Red Devils Gaming. Single player online GTA online closed crew session. Is that the the pathway to get what I need? Let me just take a screenshot of that. Because that is going to be very helpful. Thank you, Red Devils Gaming. Um, you've definitely got the best hair. Yeah, I think we were all... Uh, I don't know who had the worst hair at the in between us. Adrian Hicks, James, you have proven what a good actor you are, as you are nothing like your characters. You're a fantastic actor. This is it. This is why. <laughs> this is why I live stream. Uh, Treat says, "Hey, I'm back. Don't run me over, please." Um, also, I can't skip these because I've never seen them before. Big Marv, how often do you see the other in between us, boys? Not as often as I like, as I'd like to. We talk to each other all the time. Um, we don't see each other uh, a lot because we don't live near each other, and we've got children and stuff. And uh, I OK says CIA shit to deal with. Okay, is that from the in between us? I don't know. Um, got a couple things to take care of. Phil Jelly, loving your streams. Call Ben Curtis a bus wanker. Ben Curtis, you are a bus wanker. Couldn't even do that. You should get all of them on your channel all together. I know, listen, that would be great. And I know that people would love that. And it certainly would be better than that thing that we did uh, on New Year's Day. Um, but... The problem is, if I see them, the last thing I want to do is film something with them. I just want to hang out with them and have a laugh with them. And, you know, we've spent a lot of our lives together with a camera, in front of a camera. Sometimes we like to just uh, do our own thing. Right, let's get some key code, shall we? I think. Um... You should have an OBE for revolutionary acting. Yeah, I should. <laughs> I should, shouldn't I? <laughs> Leroy Davis, he's another one. He's another one that uh, uh, that helps me out a lot. Um, I just want to shout him out because he's good. Right, now. What do I want to do here? What's the easiest... Um, because I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the weak link in any team. So I need to know... What's what's the easiest that's that's that, that's going to put less pressure on the other guys in my in my team? Um, Chewy Pork Pie says, "Please play R E two. Love to see you crap yourself." Uh, Resident Evil Two, yeah, maybe I should. Um, Ewan McIver says, "Have you ever watched the US version of The Inbetweeners?" Also, much love, love the streams. Thanks, man. I've never watched it. No. Um, from what I've heard, it's not that good. Uh, we still need Greg on here too. Yeah, that would... Greg Davies is a special human being, whereas he's just effortlessly funny and entertaining. Um, hey, James. I love what, uh, what bodyguard probably, just protecting players. Okay, I'll stick with bodyguard. I want to look a little bit tidier though. Um, what else was I saying there? There was someone else that... Hey James, I love watching your streams while I'm working in my retro game shop. What retro game shop is that? Are you at RTX London this year? I tell you what, if I am... Um, look, I even have people drive for me. This is it, this is the life. Um, go on, you're driving. Um, if I'm... If I'm in the country, and uh, then there, there's absolutely no reason why I won't be at RTX London. I will definitely be there. IOK says, the Splash Planet, when Jay is asking where Jay is. Just, a, just some words. <laughs> is that a question? Sorry, what? 
TD Design says, we love the vids. Keep it up. From Charlie, Kirsty, James and Sandra, we are all bus wankers. Thank you. Vex, Vex Gaming doing a great job once again. Um, hi Harvey, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, been playing any poker with Danny Dyer and the Craze of late? No. That was my dad. <laughs> um, Liam Kennedy. Who's the one person you'd want to share a bev with? Right. I think... Go to the meeting point. I think, and I've thought about this before, and I get asked this question quite a lot. I think Dave Grohl. One, he seems like, well, all right, like a really cool, funny guy. Um, wait for your crew to get in position. And then also, just loads of questions about what's it like being a rock star? What's the Foo Fighters like? What was Kurt Cobain like? I mean, if there'd be nothing in it for him, it'd be most boring uh drinking session of his life but that's who i would like to have a beer with um stephen harworth says love your work man uh what went wrong with the new year's special <laughs> not your guys fault obviously just felt something wasn't right well we i'll get I, I will i will try and put all this to bed uh at the weekend matt's coming round and we're going to make a, a podcast and I, I'm, I'm gonna just talk about it ever so quickly just to get it um just to get it get it get that all done and dusted um would you do would you go to insomnia gaming event yeah i went to one uh maybe a year ago or a year and a half ago i went to one it was really good fun um live scan gaming hi mate could you call ella and josh a bus wanker ella and josh you are bus wankers and jill hudson is as well there's a load of them. Uh, I'm playing on Xbox, Kai. Right, I've done this mission before, not as a leader. And um, I didn't do very well. Right. Have I got my gun out at least? Please tell me I've got my gun out. No, I don't. All right, here we go. Oh, crikey. Oh, Lord. I don't even know where to start. Coming from this way. And this way. Oh, I think I shot my player. They dead. No, we've got more. We've got more. I don't think I have any spare body armor. I'm not doing much, but I am dying. Everyone seems to... Everyone, everyone's got me covered, basically. Uh, collect the briefcase. Alright, I've got the briefcase. Now what? Get the briefcase back. Right. Where's the completed mate? Uh, car gone. Oh no, it's gone. Do I just get in a car and peg it? You're dead. Squeeze through here. There we go. Was I supposed to wait for any teammates? Should I maybe go back? I'll see if I can collect them out the front. Is that everyone? Is everyone in a car? Yeah? Okay. Let's go. Um, what's happening here? Florence is a bus wanker. <laughs> what's happening in the comments? Oh, Florence is a bus wanker. Briefcase wanker? Of course. <laughs> yes. No, don't. No, do go up there. Oh, I got itchy face. Uh, thank you, Gaz. Cheers, mate. Don't say bad words while I'm streaming. Well, I swear a bit, don't I? I do try not to swear on the old streams. But I do just swear. 
That's the language I use, unfortunately. The language of the gutter. Stay facing the right way. Um, no, I don't play Fallout. I find it too stressful. Um, I do have anxiety dreams over, like, being a, a, nu a, a nuclear attack. <laughs> is one of the things that I'm genuinely scared of. Which I think is quite rational. Like, I'm not scared of shadows, or, I don't know, I don't have irrational fears. But I think being scared of a nuclear attack is, is you know, it's fair enough. Um... Is being, being afraid of sharks irrational? I remember one time I was on holiday and we went on one of those boat excursions where they take you around a bay and you can jump in the sea for a little while. And um, we were at this sort of like, we were by this island. So there was like an island here and there was, um, and then there was a boat. There was the ship, the boat that we were on. And then there was a load of sharks sort of a little bit further out. They said, right, this is where we're going to stop now and everyone can jump out and have a swim. Uh, there is some sharks over there, but don't worry. And the, like, the captain of the boat was going to me, oh, why aren't you getting in? What, oh, what's wrong? Are you scared? Too scared? And I was like, yeah, there's sharks over there. And he went, it's okay, the boat, you know, w stay over this side of the boat. The sharks are at the other side of the boat. And I was just like, I don't think the sharks will understand the concept of staying over one side of the boat. I think if they want to come and eat me, they're going to come and eat me. He was going, to, oh, what? Oh, you're scared. Scared of sharks, are you? I was going, yes, I'm scared of sharks. What's, what's wrong with being scared of sharks? Um, have you played GTA San Andreas? Thoughts on it? Of course I've played it. This isn't my first rodeo, Big Marv. Um, yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The only, the only Grand Theft Auto I've never played, and I've tried to play three or four times i couldn't get into it it was grand theft auto 4 i just could not get into that game and i know loads of people love that game but it, it wasn't for me it was just too i don't know what it was where i didn't give it enough time but the beginning is just too boring um so stands a lot swearing is part of british culture james yeah i sort of think so too whether it's a thing that we should be proud of or not i'm not sure but it is definitely a part of it uh would you go on i'm a celebrity get me out of here no I'm not interested in being a celebrity. I just want to be an actor, please. Can I just do that? Um, no. No, I wouldn't do well on that show. I'm boring. I'm not very funny in real life. I'd be miserable. I'd be surrounded by a bunch of idiots getting on my nerves. It would... Uh, I, I just wouldn't come... No one would like me. No one would watch it and go, Oh, that James is a nice guy. I, I, just, would, I just wouldn't enjoy it. Big Marv, yeah, me too. Loved all of them except for GTA 4. Yeah. It's not the best, Psycho. You're having a bubble. You're having a tin bath, sunshine. Um, I'm going to come back to the heists. The people that um, are with me. I just want to stock up on some um, body armour. Um, you should have pushed the captain to the sharks. <laughs> Yeah, he was a bit bigger than me, and he was like all, he was all like, he was like a, you know, a sailor. The fuck's my car? So it's, um, it's difficult to, uh, you know, when people are sort of masculine. I can't come up against those kind of guys. Sailor guys. Yeah, Leroy, get out of the car, mate. Seriously, get, no. Leroy. Leroy, LD, get out of the car, get, yeah, here we go, nice one, Shan, right, I'll be back in a second, I've just got to pop to the gun store, which is where, where's the nearest gun store from here, hmm, hmm, there, or there, this guy's so I'm going to go to this one. Thank you, Psycho Matt. Cheers, mate. Um, you on Xbox? I am on Xbox. I played Grand Theft Auto on Xbox. Um, Buckers, if you're... If you... If you have to give up acting tomorrow, 
an AH gave you a job offer, would you take it? Yes, absolutely. If they said to me, just come work here. Like, if I couldn't act anymore. Definitely. Just a job full of really nice people having fun. Yeah. Spider on chair. <laughs> Look. Can we all stop with the spider stuff, please? Alright. Alright, we're full up. We're full up. There's a helicopter. <laughs> Updates on white gold. Yes, very, very soon. Super soon. It's going to be uh, very soon. I don't know when exactly, but it's going to be, it will be on TV. And it's uh, it's really great that everyone still, um, you know, wants to watch it. All right, so let's head back to the old heist room. The Ruthless 99. Yes, you help me out as well, don't you? Will White Gold Season 2 be on Netflix when it comes out? I think so. I assume so. For the rest of the world, it'll be on the BBC in the UK. But I think for America... I okay, you are the best actor, you make my day. Thank you. Thank you very much. How did you meet Podcast Matt? Uh, I think we spoke about this on the very first podcast. Uh, we were in a band together. <laughs> we, we, yeah. <laughs> I've been mates with Matt for 20 years. Something like that. Right, let's crack on with these heists. Insurgents. But it's really great being able to play this game now with um, a load of people who do want to help me. Um, rather than a load of strangers that will just quit when their dinner comes or whatever. Um, it's like, it's almost impossible like to, to do these heists if you're not with a group of people that want to do it with you. Uh, and most people don't want to do it with you. I've found trying to do these heists that they end up just shooting their um, their team, crew members. Uh, Psycho Matt's back again. What's your favourite game of 2018? Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, 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 and Spider-Man as well. Spider-Man, like Red Dead Redemption 2 was my favourite because um, there was obviously... I loved all that stuff already. R. Croydon, he's one of my guys, one of my go-to guys. Um, he's been a big help, so thank you for that. Um, but just Spider-Man was just super fun. I just loved playing it. It was just really, really fun and um, looked great. The gameplay was great. Like, I'd, I'd definitely recommend that game so you know the makers of spider-man you can you know put that on the front cover once it becomes a game of the year edition or something i don't know uh what how do i want to look i want to look like i mean business i don't want to look like a joke there we go all right I'm ready to play. Um, what do you think of Spider-Man Far From Home, the new one? I probably won't watch it. It doesn't look like it's um, aimed at me. Uh, and I'm not, like, super, super into comic books. So, um, it's probably... 
does anyone want to drive me? <laughs> Go on, Leroy. You love getting in my car. You're always trying to get in my car. There he goes. <laughs> um, James, does Matt Hullam hate you? It's just when you're on the spot, he was looking at you like he was going to kill you. No, I don't think he does hate me. Or if he does, if he does hate me, like, that's totally fine. Because when I did that, I, I thought he was fucking hilarious on that on the spot. He was just this... <laughs> he was just this grumpy man that didn't give a shit, and uh, that's cool with me. I like, <laughs> I quite like people like that. Um, that's all right, Aiden. Thanks, man. Uh, James, how's the gooch been, mate? Yeah, it's been all right. Hang on, let me um, because you know this is an area of ex of expo expertise. I spoke about um. Getting flushable wet wipes, which is a must, which is what you should do. Um, more, most memorable episode of In Between Us to you. Oh, I'd have. To, I, I mean, just just the field trip, the the school trip, the one where we went to Swanage on a school trip because there was the boat and the the firing off a flare. Um, but yeah, I've touched on the um, hygiene down there. It's very important to me these days. I'm becoming obsessed with it. So yeah, get a flushable wipe. Get um, like a uh, hemorrhoid flushable wipe. Even if you don't have hemorrhoids. Because some flushable wipes have like a scented thing on them. And it will irritate what's going on down there. And what you want is something that's clinical. Something that's going to keep you clean. But also not um, mess up the skin. So even if you don't have piles, get Preparation H flushable wipes. And also, um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking about this. Uh, the thing that I've been using uh, recently, which is which has helped a lot uh, with the dry area, is called um, bal balneum, balneum dry skin and itch relief. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How do you know if you have piles? Well, I'll tell you how you know you have if you have piles. You go to the doctor and you say, I think I've got piles. And then they turn around after you showing them your asshole <laughs> and feeling your bum saying, you don't have piles. You just look like someone who um, has tried to <laughs> get me to touch your bum hole. <laughs> That's how you work out whether you have piles or not. Um, does it work on your gooch? Yes. Yes, it works on the perineum. That's what you need to... Because it can get dry. It's a very sensitive area of the body. It can get dry and flaky. And you need to... Um, you need to uh, be careful when you, uh, when you dry yourself after the shower. What I like to do is I like to air dry down there. I don't scrub with the towel. Right, am I supposed to be doing something? Turn around the other way, shall we? There we go. You're dead. You're dead. I'm getting killed. There's a lot more people down there than I thought there was originally. Right, I'll let other people do the driving because I'm bad at driving and I will probably... Uh, destroy the mission. Uh, Zapped next series. Not sure. Not sure what's happening with Zapped. Uh, obviously, if I know if we'll do another one, then I'll uh, I'll let you know as soon as I know. <laughs> Piles are horrible. Thrush also not great. Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> How do I join your crew? You can't now. You can't join it. And I, I honestly think that out of the thousand people that are in the Completely Make crew, I think that there's probably 700 that, that don't even play the game anymore. That did play the game when I, when I first joined the crew and have maybe dropped off. 
Um, have you played the South Park games? Yeah, one of my favourite uh, games is the... Um, the I can't remember what it's called now. It might just be called South Park the game. Hold on, bear with me one second. I've got it up here. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's just South Park the game on the, on the N64. And this is one of my favourite games. It's like a first-person shooter. And you've got a load of, like... Turkeys and things. Oh shit, attacking you. <laughs> Sorry. Drops my controller. Anyway, should I be shooting people? Sorry. <laughs> I'll try and shoot some people, shall I? And I, and I, am, I am also about to die. Inventory, snacks. And uh, let's get some body armor on, shall we? Oh, are you still on us? Shit, there is a lot of people around, isn't there? I should have been shooting. I wasn't paying any attention. I was being a really terrible... Oh, God, I'm going to die! There's too many people and I can't... I, I, I honestly can't shoot them. What's that? Oh, crikey! How'd you shoot down helicopters with just a... an SMG? Right, let's get some snacks again. No, don't worry about your style right now. And some body armor. It's good job I went and got some body armor before this before this game. Um, Paul K, have you parted with him? <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? Take out Meriwether. Right, okay. Alright, that's the end of that then. Um, Paul K's T total. Super. Um, yeah, super clean living and all that. All that jazz. Let's get the gun out, shall we? There's someone down here. There's one person left. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Got you. Right, still, still an insurgent. Oh, someone left the insurgent. I've got one here. Have I? All right. I'm. Oh, I can't get in. No, no, no. I think we need someone in, in this other car, do we? Did someone leave an insurgent? Back at where we've just come from? Yes is the answer to that question. <laughs> Wait. Alright, hang on. Oh, someone else is in my car, so I can't even call my car. Anyway, let's go back to this, shall we? Um... Favourite member of AH <sighs> Changes Swaps about Paul Fox Will's mum or Neil's sister <laughs> Yeah fine uh, He's back LD's come back for me Um Paul F uh, Yeah I've done that one Um Jacko Snacko As usual As usual Love your content Do you still use your Facebook Yeah I know that there is Uh a completed it mate Facebook that Matt set up I think we did it just to just to have it but we don't like I'm, I'm honest there's just no use for it like I, I I know that like it's important for companies and stuff to have it and to have an online presence but I I'm just fine with with uh, my Twitter I use and Instagram and YouTube and that's that's where you'll find me 
uh, especially YouTube as well, because if you want to get a message to me, then put it in the comments. I'd read every single one. Um, White Gold Season 2. It'll be, it's here, It's done. We've shot it. We've filmed it. It's finished. It'll be out soon. Uh, what is your favourite TV show? Can't, couldn't tell you. Not got a clue. Couldn't tell you. I'm Alan Partridge, Blackadder, The Young Ones, Bottom, Peep Show. Uh, just the brass eye. Just lo there's loads. Favourite Christmas movie? Christmas Vacation, Chevy Chase. It's brilliant. Happy birthday. Tilly or Grace, not sure which one, but Tilly and Grace says it's my birthday. Maybe you're twins. Um, do you like Coronation Street? No, I don't watch any soaps. Um, yes, I have watched extras, and uh, it's all about merchant in extras. Darren Lamb, hilarious. Um... Have you ever watched Prison Break? Yeah, I did watch it. Was, it's one of my wife's favourite shows, Prison Break. And uh, she made me watch it, pretty much. <laughs> um, rewatched Rick and Morty, so funny, love it. I know, yeah, I've sort of, I've rewatched it so much. What's going on? What's going on? Oh yeah, someone's got it. Right, okay, cool. My mate Jamie White gets a bus. Well, you got sometimes you got to get a bus. Um, True Detective. I really, really like the first series of True Detective. I've not caught any of the recent series. Is it any good? But the first series is well good. Um, I really, really liked it. Um. I've not seen The Punisher. Is that a comic book thing? Don't know what that was. But I'm not leaving... Not leaving this heist set up yet. We've got to get these insurgents back. Um... What was it like playing an iconic character like Del Boy? Scary. <laughs> uh, people just do nothing is genius. I've still not seen it. Oh, I've had... If I had a pound every time someone said, watch, people just do nothing, I'd have about seven quid. Um, Bird Box, I've not watched that. Uh, what age were you when you started the Inbetweeners? I just turned 18 when I did the pilot for the Inbetweeners. Uh, Damien Rowland, you're not reading my comments. You're literally being fascist. No, I think it's making someone do something. <laughs> making someone do what you want them to do. I think that sort of sounds a bit like fascism. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not as um, educated as I should be is basically the, the end to that sentence um, I've not seen Love Hate James this car is slow it is a slow car but it's really really difficult to blow up and that's why I stand by it and as soon as I get to level 100 I'm really really going to look forward to uh, slapping a turbo in this bitch uh, did see you from Dagenham, whereabouts? I grew up around there. Do you support West Ham? I don't support West Ham, no. But every single one of my friends do. Uh, whereabouts? I grew up, um... I grew up... Oh, should I say? Does it matter? I grew up on Oval Road North. Um, on the estate that's across the road from... Or across the A13 from, uh, from the Fords plant. Peaky Blinders is a must-watch. True that, Richard. Um, I've been to the pub. You did Rock and Chips. Right, I think that was in uh, Greenwich. I might be wrong. There was one pub in Greenwich. We might have just done the exteriors there. 
Um, school's cancelled for me. I feel happy. That's always a good feeling, isn't it, when school's cancelled? I assume it's because of snow, is it? Bad weather? Obviously, there's no snow in the southeast. Um, which, you know, would be fun. But I tell you, we only need just rain here. Ever given an autograph? Yeah, I have. I like it when that happens. There's something quite uh, traditional about it, an old school. And someone says, oh, you know, because usually it's can I have a picture with you. Uh, Trailer Park Boys is comedy gold. Give it a try. I see it advertised on Netflix a lot. How did I get silver? I did nothing. Um, Net Netflix pushes that show like nobody's business, so maybe I should... Uh, is it bad I dropped out of school halfway through year 11? It's not good, mate. <laughs> Depends. Have you got, are you, are, you now, are you doing like a sixth form or something like that? Or are you, are you doing, doing, have you started a college course or something? It's early. It's too early to be not learning about the world. Um, what console do you mainly use? I'd love to play. So for, G, for Grand Theft Auto, I'll play on Xbox. But for everything else, I'll play on PlayStation. Uh, Kip Hakes. Who is your most famous Twitter follower? I think mine is Tony Robinson from Blackadder. I haven't got a clue. Um, Mark Hamill followed me for a while and then he stopped, which I think is fair enough. Which is cool. Um, who's my most fa my f famous Twitter follower? I mean, the, boy, the guys from One Direction. They're pretty famous, aren't they? A couple of the guys from One Direction follow me. Don't know. Don't know. Not sure. Oh, are we done? Good job. Good job, everybody. Um, can I carry on? Is there more heist to do? Or do I have to wait for someone to call me? Uh, I think I've got to wait for someone to phone, possibly. Um. Oh, God. This is going to be a long drive. Um. I'm good, thanks, Patrick. Sorry. Um, what's your opinions on Luther? I've not watched it, and I should, because I've been told really great things about it, and also I'm a big fan of Big Driss. Um, I just think he's brilliant. Fantastic actor. So I should watch Luther. But I think I'll save I'll save that because there's a few series now. So I can save that for when if I have to work away anytime soon then I can just have a load of stuff to watch like in a hotel room or something like that. You know what it's like. Good turning. Great turning. Um, what else have we got going on here? Is Luther on Netflix? I think it might be, you know. Sounds like the sort of thing that they'd have on there. Um, James, are you a bus wanker? <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, try and play the crew too. Okay. Do you think Elba would make a good Bond? Right, I've already spoken about this. I'm on record. Yes, he would make a good Bond. He's got everything that I think a Bond should have, right? He's cool. He looks like he can handle himself. He's handsome. Um... And this isn't me, like, I know, like, you know, the, there's a lot of people <laughs> that are like, oh, Bond should be black, uh, Bond should be white, rather, Bond shouldn't be a black guy. And, like, I'm not. I don't think I'm, like, I think that he should be Bond for PC reasons, because I genuinely don't think Bond should be played um, other than a British person. Um, 
I know that a lot of people like the George Lazenby film, but I I didn't. I wasn't into it. But it wasn't because he was Australian that that that, that film was a problem for me. I just don't like that film. Um, but yeah, so I don't. I I think it needs to be a British person. I'm not like you know saying, oh, aren't I great because I'm so PC and forward thinking? I don't think it should be a woman either. I I know that's not trendy to say that, only because of my own preference I would like James Bond to be a strong handsome man <laughs> um, I just think I, I don't know who else I don't know who else is around at the moment who could who could do the job as well as Idris Elba and I really like Daniel Craig by the way um, I think he's a great Bond so that's not that's also not like that like I'm not in a rush for Daniel Craig to to step aside. Have I spoke about Bond enough? I'm a big James Bond fan by the way. Um Golden Boy Gates says the lure of 007 is a white agent but he'd be good. I'm not sure what that means. The lure of 007 is he's a white agent. Like the the way to sort of answer that question, I think, is that is there uh, are there black male secret agents, and if there are, then it's perfectly acceptable for one to be portrayed as James Bond. Um, Tom Hiddleston, yeah. See, I just think look, I think I could knock Tom Hiddleston out. He's just a bit too sort of like. Not posh in a way. Like, because you know there's, like, posh guys. Because Bond's posh. Don't get me wrong. He's, you know, well-educated and, um, you know. But he's, he's, like, he'll get stuck in posh. You know, those guys that were sort of, like, you know, sort, sort of, like, captains during the First World War. They'd all be sort of posh guys, but they'd be there getting stuck in with the rest of the the privates and the soldiers and stuff they'd be getting stuck in with the privates um i mean buckley for bond of, co of course obviously obviously <laughs> um no i've not played rainbow six siege either i mean i've got to sort my life out really i just i there's like one or two games that i like and i play them Forever and ever and ever. Tom Hardy. See, Tom Hardy is a bit the other way. He's a bit too tough and rough. And I love Tom Hardy. He's a bit of a hero of mine, to be fair, actually. He's um, another person who, if you are a young British wannabe actor, he's somebody you should be looking at on how to sort of go about your business um richard aoard is bond yes he too <laughs> too nerdy too sort of um you know richard aoard is not gonna smack anyone about is he <laughs> um but yeah going back to tom hardy for 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 an example so like i really like taboo like i think that's a really great series as well i haven't got a fucking clue what's going on in it i just enjoy watching it um he got a bit of stick that, like, his production company that makes Taboo, like, lost money. And he was like, oh, Tom Hardy's company's losing money. Da -da -da. Right, let me put that from his point of view. He was obviously not fussed about making money. He was more interested in using as much money as he could in a production to make something as great as he could make it. He was putting money into his art. And that's an incredible thing to do. So, yeah. Simon Bird for 007. Absolutely. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Just see Simon and Simon Bird. He'd be watching the... Uh, the Aston Martin would get blown up and he'd be stood outside going... Oh, brilliant. Why have they done that? Oh, 
yes, oh great, yes, brilliant. Now the Aston Martin's been blown up. That's my Simon Bird impression, by the way. Um, Greg Davis as the, as the new Bond villain. See, that would just be funny. <laughs> I'd enjoy it. I'm not against that idea at all whatsoever. Um, Golden Boy Gates says, Sorry, English not great. Have you watched Old Boy? No, I've not seen it. And your English is probably better than mine. You've got every word that you needed to have in that sentence. So don't feel um, insecure about that at all whatsoever. Um, Tom Hardy would make a decent Bond villain. He'd make a great Bond villain. He'd make a really, really good Bond villain. That's faux show. Uh, Tom Hiddleston would make a good Bond, Bond villain, villain as well. I've said this before. I think he would make a good Bond villain. Uh, I love you too, Josh. Hello, Jay, who's in Australia. I've not seen Venom. Not heard great things about it. Yeah, Mike Evans, he's, he's hit the nail on the head. Idris Elba would smash you up, but would also wine and dine. Perfect bond. That's what you need. You need someone who can, who can straddle between that. Tom Hardy for the next Bond girl. Do you know what? He's got the range. He's got the acting chops. He could do it. Uh, Call Dawid Games. Have I said that right? Or, you, you know, it might be um, like a Deutsch W there. It might be David. Uh, you, have I, have I, how have I done? It's Dawid or David? Rylan for Bond. I mean, it sounds like a laugh. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't, <laughs> again, I wouldn't, just sounds like it would be funny. <laughs> Rory Noble, it's your birthday apparently, so happy birthday. Uh, yeah, I do like Dr. Perry, Do uh, Dr. Pepper Cherry. Um, but I don't drink it often, because I don't even know if you can get it in the UK. I've not tried Arena War on GTA 5. It just, I don't, I'm only just getting, I'm, I'm just getting around to doing the heists. I've got lots to catch up for. Bring back Austin Powers. Yeah, bring back Austin Powers. Absolutely. I'd love that. I'd love a new Austin Powers. Mike Myers is such a big, big hero of mine. Um... I am English, yes. Dr. Peppy Pe <laughs> Dr. Pepper Perry Perry. <laughs> yeah. Can you sing Baby Shark? No. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to Van Gogh my ears if I have to uh, hear that song again. I've got two kids at the ages of five and seven, so I know all about Baby Shark. Don't you worry about that. Simon Bird is Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah, probably. What else we got going on here? Do you, do you think Jim Carrey was right? Right about what? They're making an Austin Powers. Uh, it's it's written that on MDB. Yeah, I had heard that 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 there was that Mike Myers was going to bring back Austin Powers, and I would really like that. It helps with the anxiety, Nick Doonan. Jay as Austin Powers. <laughs> Did you hear rumours about a new Bioshock game? Now, uh, they, uh, there's been rumours about it for a while, isn't there? I'm waiting for something concrete, unless something new's come out that's a bit more substantial. Um, who are some of your favourite actors? Steve Coogan, Idris Elba, 
Uh, Pacino, De Niro, of course. Um, loads. Got a few favourite actors. Can't think of any, but I've got a few. Um, right. Golden Boy Gates. I'm worried about saying this joke. <laughs> Seems loaded. Seems a bit loaded. Because it's got the word Nazi in it. So if it's okay with you, I'm going to swerve it. But well done. The punchline is, forget about it. Which is good. It's a pun. Is this Boat Simulator 2019? <laughs> no, mate. This is GTA 5. Will you be a guest on Tell Em Steve Dave again? Yeah, if I'm ever invited. I do have a Nintendo Switch, Tony. Yes. Jamie Hamnett, good to hear from you. Are you going to watch Bad Boys 3? Yes, of course. Um, hold on, I've pressed the wrong button. I need to equip my mask. Did I equip my mask? Oh, I've forgotten how to get out of the car, uh, the boat. Right, it's really dark. I can't see much. Right, I've got my mask on. I'll get a gun out, shall I? Not the sniper rifle. Right, what do we need to do? I think I've tried... To oh, they're coming from this way. Crikey. That's it, I'm almost dead already. This is fun. This is fun stuff. Chris says, Danny Dyer, greatest actor of our generation. I think Danny gets a bit of stick. Undeserved stick. Um, he's a very good actor, Danny. He's a very, very nice bloke. And you'll realise that if you're ever, if you're ever lucky enough to meet him, it will be nothing but friendly to you. Is it bad that um, I've got some? I've got some gas. In my <laughs> I need to fart, basically. <laughs> I don't want to do it on a live stream, <laughs> but I'm, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I had a lovely vindaloo last night. So good. Um, Inventory. And also some body armor. Am I supposed to be heading towards that? Uh, I've sort of like left my friends. I feel like I should be with them, with those guys. Look, I'm just not doing anything. No, should I have gone? I'm lost now. I've not been paying attention. Shout out for the hot spa. There you go. Go through the door. Right. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming back for me. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dearie. Right. Oh. Someone over here. Got you. Reload so much when I don't need to. Right, there's someone there. Got you. Right, I definitely should not be trusted with uh, flying the plane. I should, I should, I should not be trusted with with that kind of responsibility. Got you, mate. So if someone gets in there, then what do we do? Thank you, Toby. Take off now. Got our oh, Roger that. Will down the jet. oh, 
God. I don't know what to do. Is there another plane? Oh, there's more planes over here. Definitely getting a plane, shouldn't I? Uh, White Gold Series 2 news. Oh, did the plane blow up? Oh. I think that was my fault. I think I maybe should have got in a plane and tried to... Um, and try to uh, quick restart, right trigger. Where will it restart from? Is it going to restart from the game? How long were you sat in makeup for when you did Red Dwarf? A long time. A long, long time. Yeah, protect him. Yeah, I was supposed to protect him, wasn't I? Bad. I was doing badly there. Right, now. Now then, I'm going to do what I was supposed to do. I'm going to get in a plane and I'm going to try and... Um, I mean, even if I'm in a plane, I'm not going to do great. Right. Let me get in one of these planes. And then I should be able to offer some, some sort of... Alright, we're there. Missiles. I mean, there's no way... There is no way I'm not going to crash this plane. It looks too difficult to... Alright, 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 here we go, here we go. Has it been destroyed already? How was the... How was it destroyed? I'm running well over now. This is turning into a really, really long vehicle. Uh, vehicle? This is turning into a really long video. Right, we'll try one more time, and if we fail, I'm going to have to do this, um, I'll have to do this another time, unfortunately. Um, you should set up a hotkey on your keyboard to mute your mic. Don't have a keyboard. <laughs> Best GTA voice city. That might not be true, but it's just because of my age and because of... Um, yeah, I just love that game so much. I think if you're slightly younger than me, then maybe that's not true. Uh. Do you watch Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I found that funny. Although, I mean, I don't know why I'm laughing. I did recently watch all the original, or all the available original episodes of Pokemon on Netflix. I was watching them with my... I say I was watching them with my kids, but, you know, sort of wasn't. Right, where is... where are these jets? Where are they? Are they down here? How do I shoot? Oh, right, okay. Right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's try and get uh, 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 try and get these ones, shall we? I mean, they're not shooting back at me, which is a good thing. Oh, they're over here. They're over here. They're over here. Where are they? I can't see them in the sky. Missed them. Oh, 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 oh dear, oh dear. Am I going to blow up now? Am I going to blow up? Oh, I'm going to get to the comments in a section. Shit.
Oh, yep, yeah, that's the uh, the engines cut out there. Jack Bryson says, Buckers, would you do ta Taskmaster if asked? Yeah, sure, why not? You're a natural fire <laughs> fighter pilot. Yeah, I think the flames c coming out of my engine <laughs> suggests otherwise. That's the engine stopped. Um, Finn Maguire. Oh, I can't say that. I don't like saying that. It's a little bit homophobic. I'm sorry. It's fine. I think it's fine in the context of a of the Inbetweeners because I'm playing a character and I'm being an idiot. But I wouldn't like to say it in real life. White gold news. Come on. It's. I mean, it's great that people keep asking me about white gold, but I've said five times. That it'll be on TV soon. Right. Should I... Should I jump out? Is it going to blow up? I think we're alright. I mean, it's lasted this long. We should be okay. When is White Gold Series 3? <laughs> Am I just getting... Uh, trolled, I think, the old... Uh, saying is nowadays trolled is just just being mean isn't it that's what that is no mission will fail stay stay in okay i'll stay in oh what's your favorite beatles song uh probably I don't know. Oh, I don't know that one. Something? Am I supposed to land this? Do they want me to land land this as well? Oh, God. Surely it's just the, the Hydra that needs landing. Right, we're not that straight, are we? Oh, shit! Shit, shit! Ah! Oh. The engine cut out. Oh, shit. The engine just cut out, then. The fuck am I doing here? Did I fa Have I failed it? Surely not. Mission failed. Nah, we're all right. We're all right. <laughs> While my guitar gently weeps, yeah, that's a really good one. Something's a good song. I like um, like Revolver's my favourite album. Taxman, stuff like that. Buckley, can you give my mate Charmander a shout out as it's his birthday today? Come on, Buckley. <laughs> there you go. Happy birthday, Charmander. Are you going to play any horror games? Probably should, because I can imagine it would be quite entertaining. Uh, but I don't do well. I'm very. Uh, it's easy to make me jump. Um, but look, there we go. Set up past. I only got a bronze, there's a shock. <laughs> but here we go. I'm gonna that's all good. Thanks to everyone that helped me out with those um missions by the way, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna do this now. Um Play out last da -da 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 -da. Death by Daylight. Give some horror games a go. Okay. Alright, well, I'll think about it. But thank you so much for watching this video. I should be back again tomorrow at midday, UK time, same time. Um, an hour and a half we've been doing. I hope that's not too long. I hope I haven't bored you too much. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it. If you're watching this on repeat, that's cool. That's absolutely fine. But do give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Why not? Make sure you comment. I read every single comment and I try to reply to as many as I can. And, um, yeah, everyone have a really great day. I'll see you all again tomorrow. 
thank you to all the comments that have made this video and uh, that's pretty much it from me so until tomorrow I'm off adios